Dati Gilmore pinupuntahan lang natin for price watch but now we have come all the way to Taiwan ito yung Guangho parang yung Gilmore nila dito sa Taiwan Taipei to answer the question you're always asking kasi palagi nyo sinasabi mas mahal sa Pilipinas tingnan natin yung mga prices dito sa loob PM not required sa Gilmore nila and we'll see mas mahal ba sa atin or mas mahal dito ganito dapat storefront ni Hardware Sugar eh. Maybe this episode should just be who did it better because to be honest the PC shops in Taiwan did it better. Ganito sana dapat yung hardware sugar when we have more budget guys. So wala na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you. Pinakabago mo lang sa cdkeyoffer.com. Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation code. Legit, safe at pinakamura. Madali lang um order. Hanap this version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na sindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com but before we begin, I just want to note that all of the data is still here. So na update ko na for June. And one piece of data that you want from the local market is that there is a big price decrease for the 4070. Last month around 40,000 sha, ngayon around 37,000 na lang. So that's almost a 10% drop. Not bad. The rest of the market for GPUs is flat. So wala masyado nangyari. So you can still check out the data in our sheet if you're thinking of buying a CPU or a GPU. Pero for this episode, we're going to see mas mahal ba talaga dito sa atin. And we're going to compare our prices with the prices in Taiwan. Very roughly, yung exchange rate is around 1.8. Top practice nila is that they have all of the prices already here. Nakapost dito sa labas nung shop nila. So we're just going to go back and forth a bit from the screenshots that we have. And we also have some videos. And we're going to see, this is also the practice in a lot of the East Asian countries. So if you go shopping, so if you go PC shopping in Japan, ganito rin na naka-post na rin lahat ng prices sa labas. In Thailand, I understand, puro QR code na lang siya based on a discussion I had with a local there. So for the Taiwan stores, it was just really a random selection. Unlike yung price watch natin, I really tried to get the largest retailers para medyo emblematic or representative yung prices for the market. But these are random sellers in Guangha, which is sort of yung parang IT hub nila. Let's start off with, so 4060 is sort of the mid-range card now. 4060 cheaper, should be cheaper than the 3060 12 gigabytes. And let's zoom in, let's find the 4060. So they have the more expensive cards as well, but let's do the... 4060 first. Ni hao? Uh, the 4060. How much? And uh, this, this, the GPU? This one? Okay, nine, nine, thereabouts. Around 10,000? So roughly 9999 tau yung Asus na 4060 at that shop. And that comes out to around 18,000. Based on our price watch, that is. Yung average price ng 4060 ngayon in the Philippines is 8915 and mas mura actually yung sa Taiwan. And again, that's just a random store, 18,000 compared to 18,915. So a 1,000 peso difference is a lot at that price point. So mga roughly mga 5% siya. But let's see what they have for the 3060 na 12 gigabyte. Parang the cheapest price would be the Asus one, 8990. You notice cheaper yung 3060 12 gigabyte as it should be compared to the 4060. So yung pinakamura that we've seen is 8990 times 1.8, 16200 or so. Yung 3060 sa atin ngayon, 12 gigabytes is 
Average price, 18,615. Mas mura si 3060 sa Taiwan. By a lot. Around more than 2,000 peso difference. So, so far, 2 for 2 in Taiwan. Philippines not looking too good. <laughs> so far, Taiwan looking good. You notice though, medyo higher-end market, of course, in Taiwan. So, yung mga GPU na available, I mean, you have the 1030, 1630. Okay, let's look at the... How much are we going? Sixteen fifty. So the cheapest is five to ninety. So that's less than ten thousand pesos. Current price is ah. So it's interesting. Mas mura yung sixteen fifty, yung lower end card dito sa atin. The average price currently is around eight thousand three hundred. Pero sa Taiwan nine thousand five hundred. So point in our favor for the lower end card. Let me see if I can find a cheaper price for the sixteen fifty. 1630, that's not it. Here, 1650, 5290 then. Vento, so MSI, 4990. 4990 times 1.8, 8982. So cheaper, but we still come out ahead. Around 10%, actually. So slightly less than 10%. Yung lamang natin in terms of price. So okay, we can start with the 4080 Super. The high-end uh, shop with had, which had a lot of high-end stuff. So the wind force is Gigabyte 36490. So it's around 65,700 six, 65, or so. Sa atin, mas mahal. By around less than 10%. Let's see if that trend continues on the highest, highest end. So the 4090, the cheapest we have seen. Hi. Hi. Uh, how much for the 4090? The Supreme? Yeah. Okay. So Taiwan is 59990. So around 108,000 pesos. And in the Philippines, we can get it for. Ah. <laughs> As paket ng paket tayo sa high end, pas. Palaki nung palaki yung price difference. So it's cheaper to get higher end parts in Taiwan. So in 4090 is around 120,000 pesos or so. Ma 121, 120. Sa Taiwan yung pinakamura 107,982 lang. So that's a big price difference. So that's interesting. Let's see if the trend also continues for AMD GPUs. So the 6600 is 6690. So it's around 12,000 pesos. And for us, it is 13,000. So, mas mura ulit sa Taiwan by around 1,000. Uh, we don't follow the 7900 XT, but we do follow the XTX. So, that's 36490, jumping to the highest end possible for NVIDIA. Sorry, jumping to the highest possible card for AMD. Gives us around 65,700, which is, I think, what the Philippine price is, 65,700. Again, mas mura si Taiwan by around 2,000 pesos or so. So that is a definite trend. The higher up you go in terms of the hardware, the bigger the price difference in favor of Taiwan. So far, the only one that we've won in terms of the price war is the 1650. <laughs> Moving on to CPUs, the 7950X. This is the 3D uh, here, the R9 7950X, 18150. 18,150 times 1.8, we get 32,670. Again, cheaper in Taiwan by 10% or so. Slightly less than 10%. Malaking bagay. 7,800X3D. Let's just move it along to confirm the trend. 7,800X3D. Oh, price. Nagbago yung price. 13,290. Fini ko nag-price drop to eh. At least sa Taiwan. Around 24,000. Back home, it is... Ah! So, neck and neck yung prices. Pero, mas mura yung 7800X3D sa atin by around 500 pesos. Not big, but a difference nonetheless. Here. 7950X, 7800X3D, 14,750. Mas mahal pa. Ah, ito, hindi pa nga ito nagbago ng presyo eh. So the other shop had it at 13,290. Ito 14,750 pa lang siya. Which would mean mas mura pa yung sa atin. Two things we've identified so far as cheaper here. 
surprisingly, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, very good CPU for gaming, and the 1650 GPU. Let's try to see lower end CPUs. So, 7950 for the 7600X in pesos, that is 14310. Wow, sobrang magkalapit. Like, essentially, magkadikit lang yung presyo. Sige, let's jump to the 5600G. Uh, shop only has the GT, which is the slightly faster version. It's, it's a newer version. It just came out, but it's just slightly faster than the 5600G. So it would be slightly more expensive. So unfair comparison naman yun. But I think I remember seeing the 5600G in, uh, here in the other shop. 4970 which is the same price as the GT. Oh, mas mura pa yung GT, 4 nine. If you have the choice between the 5600G and the 5600GT, mas ma bilis yung GT. And here, it's even cheaper. So, 49 for the GT. 49. So, 49 times 1.8 is 8820. We can get the G for 7000. So, actually, mas mahal. Mura yung. Like, I, yes, I know we're looking at the GT price from Taiwan versus the G price from the Philippines. But even with the other shop, mas mahal yung 5600G. So this is the other shop. 5600G was 4970 So mas mahal pa. Um, probably old stock and he doesn't want to drop the price. But this is a clear winner in our favor. So mas mura yung 5600G. Um... In keeping with the general trend na kung mas lower end yung the hardware, mas mura sa atin. 4900K, latest, greatest, and hottest from Intel. Let's see what Taiwan has to offer, 19980. So around 36,000. Our price here is basically the same. Okay, not bad. Looking at the 14700K. 14,700K, 13,890, 25,000. Back home, it is 26. So, mas mura sa Taiwan. 12,500. Here we go. Bingo, 6,2. Seems a little pricey, I feel. 11,160. And back home, we can get it for... Ah, mas mura. Sorry, I, um, uh, I was wrong. Mas mahal yung 12,500 dito. So overall, if you're getting a high-end part, it probably will be cheaper in Taiwan. But if you're sort of on the mid-range or lower end, mas mura dito sa atin. And I, I found this very interesting because automatic assumption, lahat mas mura sa Taiwan. But that's not the case. And you have to note na, yes, there are price differences, 1,000, 2,000. But we're using a very favorable exchange rate, 1.8. Kung times 2 natin yun, mawawala yung price difference or it will become a lot less. So the exchange rate obviously matters a lot. I mean, between 1.8 and 2, that's a 10% difference. And that's basically the ballpark that we're talking about here. So a lot of guys who buy PC parts in the Philippines are always of the impression na mas mahal sa atin by a lot. Like, grabe yung mga retailers natin, etc. And of course, I am a retailer myself. So iba naman yung point of view ko. But numbers don't lie. Based on the data, the higher end you go in Taiwan, the better price you're getting compared to the prices in the Philippines. Pero may laban rin naman tayo, especially on the mid-range and lower end of the market. And even where there is a big price difference, you have to remember the exchange rate used as well as the hassle of buying parts abroad. You can get a good price nga sometimes, pero paano yung warranty? So that's the same issue if you buy from Amazon or New Egg or things like that. So there are times where buying abroad makes sense. I've done it myself. We do have a video about it actually na tuwang -tuwa ako na I bought computer parts from Amazon. And again, it's crazy because I sell computer parts. I want people in the Philippines to buy components from local retailers. But I know, as an enthusiast, paminsan, mas mura talaga abroad, whether that's because you're in a foreign country, you're visiting, or you know you have relatives, or you're using Amazon, which now ships to the Philippines for free, past a certain price. The key is to know all the options that you have, and then compare. Use the data. Wag lang yung automatic assumption na, ah, mas mahal sa atin, ah, mas mura dito. But before I go, yung talaga napansin ko na mura sa Taiwan, monitors. We don't follow monitors here sa price watch sheet. 
but I, I do like to keep track. You know, in turn, we, we do sell monitors at the shop, so we get a good idea of what monitor prices are. And yeah, the ones in Taiwan are very good. Yung pricing nila, grabe. I mean, let's like, we have something like this. I, I love how they display it, like, makatabi lahat. So, you know, these are not super high end monitors, but they're 27 inches, they're IPS. These are very good prices for monitors. So that's it for June. Thanks for watching.